The future is here, and as an Etsy seller, I am 100% here for it and ready to share it with all of you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to start your very own Etsy print and demand business from scratch, as well as how to leverage ChatGPT, an AI tool, to help you quickly optimize your Etsy store and Etsy listings, as well as to help you get ideas for different print and demand niches and product ideas, to help you really fast track your success on Etsy. Whether you're an artist, a designer, or just want to add some side income to your family, I'm here to help you get started today. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel. I am a wife and mama of two amazing kiddos, a full-time Etsy seller, now Etsy print and demand coach, here to give you all the tips and tricks to help you to be successful on your own Etsy print and demand journey. Uh, make sure to check out below. I have a free Etsy print and demand starter guide, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Before we dive into setting up your Etsy shop, let's talk about what print and demand is. Print on demand is a business model where products are only printed and shipped once a customer places an order. This means you don't have to worry about keeping inventory, and you can instead focus on creating designs and scaling your shop. There are many print and demand platforms, but I personally use Printify for higher profit margins and a better variety of product selection. Next, you're going to go to Etsy.com to create a new Etsy seller account. When you open up your Etsy shop, you're going to have to create a new name for your shop. To make this really easy, just go to ChatGPT and ask the chat box to generate a list of Etsy shop ideas for you. Some examples it gave me were Creative Corner, Crafty Creations, The Craft House, and so forth. Next, you will need to create a banner and logo for your Etsy shop. This is really easy to do in Canva. They have lots of pre-made Etsy banners and logos um, all ready to go for you. You simply go to templates and then search for Etsy banner, Etsy logo, and all of these uh, different types of banners will, will generate. Now, if it has the crown, it's part of the pro version, and that's, that's part of the paid version. If it doesn't have any kind of crown on there, it's part of the free version. I do have a referral link in the description box below where you can actually try Canva Pro for a month for free. Next, you're going to go to Printify to sign up for an account. I personally started with the free account with, pr with Printify and later upgraded to the premium after I started using them more frequently because you do get up to a 20% off discount on all products and that can really start to add up and helps increase profit margins as your sales volume increases. Using my referral link in the description, you can get a 30 day free trial of Printify Premium. Now it's time to choose which products you're going to have in your shop. According to ChatGPT, the most profitable print and demand products are t-shirts, phone cases, mugs, hoodies, and stickers. I personally have had a lot of success with apparel, so for this video, I'm going to stick with t-shirts. Now that you've chosen which type of products you're going to sell in your shop, it's time to choose which type of niches you're going to sell in. When you're just getting started on Etsy, I recommend designing a niches that you are already familiar with and are passionate about. It could be a profession, or a breed of dog, or a hobby, or sport, just as examples. However, if you're really not sure where to start, ChatGPT is another great place to look um, for ideas. So for example, I asked it to generate some ideas for t-shirts to sell on Etsy. It included funny and quirky sayings, inspirational or motiv motivational quotes, personalized or custom designs, such as personalized t-shirts for birthdays, special occasions, weddings, etc., pop culture references, vintage and retro designs, sports, sports teams and fandoms, uh, nature and outdoor themes. So I'm going to choose uh, cross niching. So that's when you take two different niches and you combine them, which is a really valuable uh, tool to use whenever you're designing on Etsy and listing on Etsy because it's going to give you some really long tail keywords. It's going to give you some lower competition uh, keywords that could help get you found. Of course, I didn't stop there. I kept digging because whenever you dig a little bit deeper on ChatGPT, you might strike gold. So I asked ChatGPT, what are the most popular birthdays that people shop for on Etsy? It included first birthdays, milestone birthdays, zodiac birthdays, sports themed birthdays, and DIY birthdays. So I decided I'm going to hit the milestone birthdays. And what's even more awesome about ChatGPT is that you can quickly generate tags relevant tags and titles for your Etsy listings. So here it generated an entire title for me and all 13 tags. I decided that the title it gave me was pretty short and so I asked it to create a longer title and then it did that as well. Um, so I would also cross-reference this with bestsellers on Etsy and see a check, just double check to make sure that those keywords are still relevant, that they're still trending. Um, but yeah, this is a great way to quickly generate uh, your Etsy tags, 
uh, for your listings and your title and your description. So I even asked it to make an Etsy description for that shirt. And it was able to generate an entire description for me that was loaded with keywords that's going to help you rank on Google. Now it's time to do some perusing on Etsy and really scope out to see what is actually trending in this niche right now on Etsy. And when I go to 40th birthday shirt, I can see right away, boom, vintage 40th birthday shirts are definitely in. Um, so I'm gonna kind of just scope things out and see, you know, how can I add some new value to this niche? I really do like, you know, that it has the date. I like the word vintage there. I really like that. I really like this like monochrome sort of vintage uh, throwback font. I like the idea of having the cassette player. That's really cool. So I think I want to sort of mix this idea of the vintage with the cassette tape um, with the date here, with the 1983, to kind of make it a little bit more personalized. And I know that, you know, the more personalized an item is on Etsy, the better it sells. To find the best sellers on this page, all I have to do is run my Everbee Chrome extension analytics. So I just go to product analytics and run that and then I can see um, the estimated revenue for each listing, the estimated total sales, um, estimated likes, favorites, etc. And then I can also click on the listing to run analytics on the specific listing. So I can go to de listing details, how much revenue it made, um, it can tell me the tags, um, it can even analyze the tags. So let's take a look at one of the best sellers in this niche. The first thing you're going to notice is that it's only 926. And you might be thinking, oh my goodness, how could I ever compete with such a low price as a print and demand seller? However, once you go into the, the listing and you sort of investigate, you're going to quickly notice that it's actually much more expensive than that. So for example, if I uh, select size medium, it's actually 1855 plus 499 shipping. So this listing is actually closer to $25 than $10. This was just a pricing strategy that this seller used to kind of um, make the, the listing thumbnail price lower. It's important also to note how many reviews an item has. This item has 72 reviews, which indicates that it could have possibly sold over 700 times already. This is because only about 10% of purchasers actually take the time to leave a review. So it's just important to keep in mind that we're just getting inspiration here from this bestseller. We're never going to copy the design. If we copy desi the design, it's not going to add any new value to the market and we're not going to be able to, to compete on Etsy. Also, it's just unethical. Now it's time to find graphics for my teacher idea. So I went to Creative Fabrica because they just have thousands and thousands of amazing graphics and fonts that I use in pretty much all of my designs. Next, I searched for a retro cassette tape and was able to find some graphics that I really liked. So I'm gonna go ahead and download these. I will throw a referral link in the description box below for Creative Fabrica. Using the link, you can get free 30-day all-access trial. Next, I'm heading over to Canva, which is where I create most of my designs on my laptop. And then I, I'm going to create a custom size 4,500 by 5,400. I just found that this is a really great t-shirt size. All right, so I've uploaded my, my graphic here. I added a couple of text boxes, and I changed this to the Sand Creek font. Um, but this is a free font. And then I also added a Col I think it's called Colo Plate. Yeah, Colo Pro. This one is a pro font, but it's like just a fun retro -y font. And I changed the color to ma match this cassette player, which by the way, if you ever want to change the color of a font, you just go to A here. And what's really cool about Canva is that it actually will pull in other photo colors. So any photo that you drag onto your canvas here, it will pull the colors from that and it just makes designing so easy. Um, so I'm really happy with this design now. I feel like it's really added some new value to this niche. And so I'm going to go ahead and throw this on a mock-up. This mock-up is from Moneymaker Mock-ups. I absolutely love their mock-ups, that, that, the whole entire mock-up shop actually. And so I'm gonna throw a link to their shop in my description box. I just get, always get uh, lots of questions about mock-ups and where, where to find mock-ups. Um, one of my favorite places to get mock-ups is definitely Etsy. So now I am ready to go ahead and download this. I'm going to download this as a JPEG. This is not going to have a transparent background um, like the design will. So I can go ahead and download that. Next, I would log into Printify to upload my design. And I would go to catalog and then t-shirts. You can, you can go to men's or women's because I sell unisex. And then my favorite t-shirt to sell is the, is the uh, Bella Canvas 3001. So I would select that. And then now I'm ready to upload my design. I really like Monster Digital. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start designing there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add from my library, actually my device. All right, and so I have my design here. I'm gonna go ahead and make it just a little bit larger. 
stretch that out and I'm really happy with that. I can go ahead and preview that, see how it looks. And then I want to go through and select a few colors. I don't want to select a ton of colors. I just want to select the ones that are going to look best for this design. Um, let's see, we can test out different colors. Like this one doesn't look that great. I think Heather Peach would look great there. Now this is ready to publish to my Etsy shop and then I would go into my Etsy shop and then add in my new thumbnails that I've created in Canva. And then I am ready to go once I've added my title and my tags and all the SEO and the description from ChatGPT. I hope this was really helpful for you all and that you take action. This really is just a really unique business opportunity. It certainly has changed my life and it can change yours too.